I'm Chef Keith Snow. Welcome to Harvest Eating. Today I'm going to show you how to make a wonderful South American specialty empanada. It's very simple to make. They're stuffed with a wide range of fillings. They're also made different ways with a corn dough. Sometimes you can make it with a flour dough. Today we've got a flour dough. But the main ingredient in one of these empanadas is some strong flavors in the middle. So let's get right into making our filling. We've got a quesuela, it's a clay pot. This one actually is French, but the uh, Latin American cooks all have these well-worn um, clay pots like that. So that's on a pretty warm heat. We'll take some olive oil. Certainly could use a little pork lard here. We'll turn on our fan. And then I have some uh, ground chuck. And this is meat that we bought the chuck and we ground it ourselves. It's beautiful meat. Let's get that right in there. We're going to start to render that out. In addition, we're going to add in some aromatic ingredients. First and foremost, onion. And this is a white onion. Get some of that onion right in there. I'm going to grab a little wooden spoon like this. Start to stir this through. Smells good already. Okay, now we've got some garlic cloves, three of them here to be exact. We'll just give these a little smashing down. Run our little chef's knife through them. We're going to mince these up fairly fine. We want to get a lot of that garlic flavor in there. Okay, in goes our garlic. Now we're going to season it with some kosher salt. Got some of that right here. Some black pepper. And try to break up these uh, meat chunks. You don't want um, big chunks in there. You want the filling to be no bigger than the shape of a pea, sort of broken down quite a bit. Okay, now this is cooking a bit. We've got some other interesting flavors. Lime juice, we're gonna hold that off for a minute. We've got some cumin. And of course that gives a lot of aroma. And then here's my little secret spin on it. I don't know if the South American people put it in there or not, but this is some ground cloves. And cloves go really well with beef. It's something that will be a little background flavor that people may not uh, know what it is, but it's gonna add great flavor. This is some Mexican oregano. Great in a dish like this. And I'm using dried. I wouldn't want to use fresh here. Stir some of those seasonings through. And then for a little heat, we're going to use some chipotle peppers. For those of you that don't know, a chipotle is a jalapeno pepper. It's been smoked and dried, and then they put it in a can, usually in an adobo sauce. And that's a rich, dark, oniony, tomato flavored sauce like this. Wicked hot. If you're a, what I call a spice wimp, you may want to leave these out. These are definitely going to bring some heat. And one of the reasons they're so hot, you can see in here, all the seeds are still left in there. The seeds and the membranes of the pepper and there's a lot of heat in there. So just put a little mince on these guys, just like that. And they're also very smoky, which is neat. Gives a nice flavor. And now let's squeeze some lime juice in there. Probably wind up with about a tablespoon or so of fresh squeezed lime juice. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to move over to the other side there and start rolling out our empanada dough. Okay. Now we've got all of our seasonings in there. We're going to mix these spicy peppers in. And man, the smell is incredible. A few months ago, I twittered about making empanadas, and I think uh, I got a lot of emails about that. People wanted the recipe, so here you go. Very simple to do. And like I said, the versatility of these things is amazing. You can stuff them with chicken, with seafood, all types of stuff, just cheese. Lots of ways to make empanadas. So now I'm gonna turn the heat way down, and let's move over here and work with some empanada dough. Right here is our dough, and you can see it's uh, been made. We let it chill out for a little bit, and now we've got it on the board. We'll take our pastry brush like this and just get some of the excess off. And we're going to take our rolling pin, 
And this is a very tender dough. Take some more of that bench flour on here. And what I'm making is sort of a large circle. And it's about a sixteenth of an inch thick. Now be careful when you're rolling it that it doesn't stick. You can add a little more of your, your bench flour like that. And now what I'm going to do is take this little pastry cutter and then make little rings out of our empanada dough. Just push down and twist. Just like that. And you can make these large, you can make them small. It's really up to you. And essentially, an empanada like this is basically a meat pie, and there's a lot of other cultures that make meat pies. The English make steak and kidney pies. There's all types of cultures that fill dough like this with meat. So there you have some of these guys cut out. What we'll do with them from here, remember they're pretty thin, is we'll just press them out with our hands like this, and then we'll give them a little stretch, we'll fill them up, and then we're going to take a pastry brush, dip it in some egg yolk, we'll paint the edges, and then these are going to go in the oven, and we're going to bake them. A lot of empanadas are deep fried. These are going to go on a sheet tray on top of some parchment, and we'll bake them off. So I'll show you those in a few minutes. Okay, we've got the majority of our empanadas on there, and what I do is take the little circle of dough, just flatten it out a tiny bit, put about one tablespoon of filling in there, don't overfill it, and then we take an egg wash and just dot it around the edge and then carefully take them and just fold these guys over, just like that. And then you transfer them, this guy wants to stick of course, but this is all right. Transfer it right over like this, and then you take the little edge of your fork and you do a little crimp guy like that. And uh, which one do you think is mine? This would be mine and that would feed the rest of the crew, just so you know. So now take some of this wash and this helps to give these a little beautiful golden brown. And We have the oven preheated to about 325 degrees and we're going to pop these guys into that oven and because the filling is I would say about three quarters of the way cooked. It's only going to take around 25 minutes for these to brown up nicely and be delicious. Okay, off to the oven they go. And as you can see, I've got those resting on some parchment paper. Okay, our empanadas have come out of the oven. They are a beautiful golden brown. You can see here, I've got a little uh, dipping sauce. This happens just to be sour cream, but down in South America, they call the dipping sauces for these ajil, and it can be anything. A lot of herbs, a little spice, vinegar, oil, lots of different sauces, and these empanadas are also very popular um, after church on Sundays, and they make them pretty small so they can gobble them right up, but I suggest that you give these a try. Really fantastic food, very hearty, earthy, beautiful. Finish it up, just put a few sprigs of fresh cilantro, and there are some delicious empanadas.